sunshine. I said, Dad gum excited. Dad gum got to sit on my hands, keep them clapping. Man, it's good. Uh, we're going to do some more exhaust today. And you guys watched last time, but those those results, were, man, those results were uh, goofy, weren't they? Who'd have thought the baffle would have made it run cooler? I'm not sure if it's gas getting out of the baffle and then not getting as much rebound. So it starts running out these small holes better because it's not all rebounding. Some of it's stuck there, so it starts shooting out faster. It has a longer pull on it, if you will, and not so uh, not such a pulse. Um, you know, a good pipe that works good, you can feel it pulsing, right? Um, I don't know if that's what it did. I don't know if the baffle gets rid of the pulse, which pulls, uh, which makes that small deal work better or what. I'm not sure. May never know. Uh, fun to think about though if you guys got any ideas throw it in there uh, today uh, we ended up with this with this lid at uh, a half inch hole in it right um, we're, we bumped it up this here is three quarter I think yes yeah, three quarter a little over three quarters so about 19 millimeter uh, we're gonna run that we're gonna run this one today I figure we'll try this uh, for lack of a better term, bark box, and and it's and it's about three quarter. It's it looks like a mouse chewed it out. It's not very smooth because I was kind of cutting around this, and I wanted to start in this corner. <clears throat> so I'd say it's equivalent to about three quarter, maybe a little bit less. Well, if I try it today, I won't start opening that one up today. I doubt. And then uh, we're gonna start with the gauze. I know this thing looks goofy. I know this is too long to use. Everybody knows that, but I'm curious to where where the horsepower is going to be. That'll let me know if we try to get a longer stinger if we can. Um, this here stinger here is pretty long. I guess I'll to measure that right quick. And part of it goes inside the can. Uh, Kevin, he just mentioned a while ago. It was kind of funny. I was already building this, and he's like, "Well, put more inside the can than sticking out." And I've always liked that too, especially on a little short one. But I run it to the starter side of the saw right this is starter side so there's where it would blow out there's where my holes have been so we can get all this pipe here used out to probably about there with it without it hanging off the saw and i'd probably rather it be back in there and i will have to weld a little kickstand on it unless we end up shortening it up more um all told i'd say there is let me see if i can get this fish through there I can. Hey, we're on it. We're on it. We're on it. Uh, inside radius, guys, we're looking at... We got nine inches of pipe on this <clears throat> right now. It's not going to stay. Um, and next time, I, I doubt it'll be this time. And guys, I'll probably what I'll do is I'll show you the dyno pulls, okay? Uh, I'm going to show you the dyno pulls on these. I probably gonna, might show you one heat run. We're going to run the heat runs a little bit different. I'll probably show you one heat run. I'll probably show you the dynos off of all three of these. <clears throat> uh, the video ain't going to be too long. Uh, if, I'd, if I'd shut up right now, it'd be, be shorter. Um, uh, but there's an old tractor pulling trick. Well, tractor pulling, whatever. Um, had a guy tell me that on the exhaust picture, that being my tractor. He said, start off with a big piece of exhaust. He said, just fire it up for a few minutes and run a heat gun up there and you'll see a hot spot. He said, cut that off right over the hot spot. And that's what I did on a old antique pulling tractor. And I had a PTO dyno. And I gained right at 3% by doing that, which was goofy. Um, but it made that pull. It made that scavenging effect. Um, by scavenging, if this exhaust is inside this tube and still going out, it can actually pull a vacuum behind it. Um, if, it if it's still going out, if the tail end of that exhaust column is still going out, and before it breaks this, there will be a vacuum in here that could help pull your transfer or your uh, charge out uh, and help your transfers. It's pushing from one end and pulling from the other. Uh, that's that's in my mind. That's how it works. So if we can get this the right length, uh, and that'll probably be the next video when we really start playing with this particular pipe. I'm thinking, and I can go to a shorter pipe if I need, to, or a smaller pipe and a different lid if I need to. I don't think this in here is going to be too big. I should have put a smaller pipe in there first. It's just brazed in there. Um, but we're going to try this. So guys, stick around. I was getting ready to say, if you enjoy it 
hit the like if I earned it. Hit the like uh, if I didn't, don't. But I tell you what, I just found out. I was talking to the uh, YouTube CEO today. He said they don't even audit that. You can hit the like button even if you can't stand me. <laughs> oh, let's have some fun. Let's fire it up. Um, we'll start off uh, just in the runs. I'm going to show you all three exhausts right quick because that'll be easier. Um, we're going to start off with this exhaust here, with three quarter inch hole stock outlet. No, no. Uh, yeah, it'll be this can, <coughs> that three quarter inch outlet. Then <coughs> probably do the bark box type exhaust on it. We'll check temperature on that and horsepower on that at that size of hole. And the last one we'll put on is this in here, and we'll check temperature on it. And we're also we're going to get exhaust temperature and uh, head temperature. We'll call it head temperature. That's what I'm going to call it. And we're going to run a little bit longer heat. I'll probably let you watch one run of it. Um, of the heat just so you can see what I'm doing you guys can suggest if I do it different and uh, and we'll go on from there uh, appreciate it stock outlet cover with three quarter inch hole Thanks for sticking around through all the noise of the testing. We've got the results here of the three-quarter inch hole, the bark box, and the long pipe. Stupid long, goofy long, uh, but it's where I wanted to start with it.
about 11,000 uh, is where they really start changing and and they keep a similar curve uh, in your peak and your pull on down now the long pipe the goofy pipe as stupid as it is a guy that with some finesse he might be able to make it cut faster here uh, than a guy dogged in cutting in here uh, even more horsepower but I'm not the guy I'm probably the guy that's usually cutting right in almost to breakdown point where she starts falling off uh, either dogged in or pulling a heavy chain um, I'm not a finesse guy I'm a dog it in and, and open up the governors on it but anyhow uh, the three quarter inch hole which is about 19 millimeter for the metric guys trying to trying to help everybody um, about 4.27 horsepower at 10,046 RPMs. Uh, the Bark Box, I'm going to call it the Bark Box. It, it ain't a Bark Box, that's a brand name, but everybody know what I'm talking about. Uh, it held pretty good RPMs too. It was the lowest RPM at peak horsepower of all of them. It peaked out lower than the three quarter, but you got to realize even where the three quarter peaked out, the Bark Box was ahead of it for another. Uh, so don't let the numbers mess with you too bad um, yeah it shows that the bark box topped out three four hundred lower but it had it from all oh, basically eleven five all the way down the rest of the time it it had the uh, three quarter inch hole from eleven five on uh, the long goofy pipe of course it was about a third of a horsepower less uh, than the bark box and it and it topped out it topped out even higher up about 10 10 6 but even by 10 6 it was um, it was as low as it was lower already than the bark box and uh, about where the uh, three-quarter inch hole was starting to go so um, it looks like Technically speaking, it looks like you gained RPM or horsepower on it and uh, RPMs, but the other two were already above it at that RPM. They just hadn't peaked out yet. But you can see that bark box just climbed straight up. Um, it didn't have much on top. It didn't free rev out much, but buddy, when she hung in, she hung in there like a hair in a biscuit and went plumb up. And to be honest with you, I'm a little disappointed. I didn't want that pipe to work. <laughs> I mean, I had my own ideas and I always looked at them, kind of give them a side eye and thought, ah, that ain't going to work. Now, I'm telling you, this thing's having potential and we'll open up the, we'll open them up more. Now the heat, the heat, the heat, let's talk about the heat. Okay, uh, we got, we got us about five columns here and I got us a chart down here, but I'm going to show you the raw numbers first. Or well, you can look back to them if you want. Um, and the chart will make some sense here too. Um, we got three different mufflers, three quarter inch slash 19 millimeter hole the bark box and the goofy long pipe we got a line for hoss pressure here uh and our beginning heat now you'll see a decimal in there that was just so it'd make it fit the chart so everything would be in the same range that's 285 degrees fahrenheit to here we got uh we got the beginning in celsius and we got the end in centigrade i hope you metric guys don't mind that i switched uh part way in between this horse pressure right here is the horse pressure at which I pulled at made the pull okay I pulled them saws to right at 10,000 rpms uh, so at 10,000 rpms give or take a couple rpms it was hard to hold perfect but it's pretty close um, at 10,000 rpms it was making 4.16 horsepower that's what it was pulling for the heat run it started out 285 degrees and made it to 296 or in Celsius 140 and ended at 146 centigrade um, the bark box at 10,000 rpms it was pulling 4.32 horsepower and it started at 273 degrees and went to 296 it, it ended up having about the same end pull after a minute it started out at 133 degrees uh, celsius and ended up at 146 degrees centigrade uh, the goofy long pipe it was only pulling 3.85 horse at 10,000 rpm uh 
and we started off at 260 degrees or 126 Celsius and we ended up at 301 which is 149 point decimal. I'll get rid of them decimals the next chart of this. Okay now what we have here we got three quarter inch uh, hole three quarter 19 millimeter hole here we got the bark box here and we got the goofy long pipe here. Uh, these two were pretty similar in the ending heat, you seen that up above, you seen the temperatures. Um, they well, actually, they were the same. They were 296, if I remember right. This one was like 285. That one was like 273. And I'll tell you why. Uh, without putting a big pull on it, I couldn't get it. This three-quarter inch hole would naturally hit 286 just by kind of revving it up, warming it up, without really putting a pull. Um, it, it naturally started cooler, cooled down and it stayed cooler or hotter while it was running. And this one, and believe it or not, the Goofy Long Pipe cooled down more than the others. So they started at a lower, lower temperature. I'm gonna have to try to find a way to equalize that. I'm not sure how I wanna do it. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. But anyhow, you can see the horsepower is the blue line and what they're pulling. The red is the temperature at which they started. Uh, just take this side over here and multiply it by 100 and you'll get the about the Fahrenheit. And so the three quarter inch hole didn't heat up as much in a one minute run. The bark box heated up more, but only made it to the same temperature. So you, you could say it actually cooled down more while it wasn't pulling might be a better way to look at it. Uh, depends on how you want to look at it, but the horsepower it was pulling, so the ratio of horsepower to heat on the bark box was lower. You see what I'm saying? This much horsepower made this much heat, but this much more horsepower still only made this much heat. So, uh, you guys can take this information and try to digest it like I am, or let me know how I'm digesting it wrong. The goofy long pipe didn't make much horsepower, uh, and, I, and I really didn't expect it to. That's part of another experiment that'll be in the next video. Um, it'll be all on this pipe and cutting it to different lengths. Uh, anyhow, it, it started off cooler yet and rose more, so this goofy long pipe, and we kind of expected it to be, is a failure. Uh, the three-quarter inch hole, she didn't do too bad. I think it's going to need opened up some more. We're going to open up some more, um, see if we can't gain some more. And the bark box, that's an aggravation to me. I don't like it, Dad Um No, I'm just being that West Coast uh, sauce, the old Gordy. Them good-looking guys get all the breaks. Us ugly guys can't get nothing. He's got a pipe that works for good. Um, or it seemed to, my, my cheating off of him seems to work well. Uh, Dad gummits, the good looking guys just get all breaks, don't they? <laughs> Ass ugly guys are sitting back here don't know what to do. So guys, jump in there, tell me what you think, tell me how you digest this, tell me if you come up with something different than I did, and uh, spread the word, we're having fun. We're up over 900 subscribers now, so uh, Dad gum, we're, we're, we're doing pretty good. Guys, hope you enjoy it.